the Roth IRA contributions, which are so key to me, have lagged under the law so far behind what you can put in a 401k. And why in the infinite wisdom of the U.S. Congress the law is set that way, I don't know. Because you can put these ginormo amounts into a 401k. Over $22,500, unless you're older, you can do $30,000 in a year into a 401k. And that's what all the headlines were about. But the truth is, there's almost nobody who puts into a 401k up to what the federal limits are, even before they reset 423. So Roth, though, on the other hand, people have been limited for years to $6,000. That's bumping up to 6,500. If you're 50 years old and over, you're allowed to do 7,500 in 23. And this is good news but I still don't understand the disparity. I don't get it why people who are, let's say, self-employed or work for a small business that doesn't offer a retirement plan, why they are not able to save with both hands tied behind their backs, not able to save like people who work for a larger company that can have and afford and offer a 401k. But I'm not in the Congress. I can't fix this. So the good news is at least you can save a little more. But the great news is the income levels that make you eligible for a Roth have been raised quite a bit because of the inflation we've had recently in the economy. So if you're a single individual, you're able now to contribute to a Roth with your income up to 138000 in a year, that's going to cover most people out there working in a job. If you're married, 218000 is what you have to make as a couple before you lose eligibility to do a Roth. So it means that a lot of people who were not eligible before are now going to be eligible to contribute to a Roth IRA in 23. Why do I love a Roth so much? Because you put money in it, it grows tax-free over the years, and then when it comes time in retirement to spend money, you spend it tax-free. And because it's money that is not subject to taxation in retirement, it means that it doesn't mess up other things like what you have to pay in taxes on what you're getting from Social Security or anything else. It doesn't mess up what you have to pay for Medicare, for the parts that are adjusted based on your income and premiums. So there's a lot really great about the increase in the Roth. But again, the frustration I've had for so long I can't even remember is why is it that we give such a leg up to people who work for big employers versus people who work for small employers or are self-employed. And the why makes no sense, don't get it, and I wish that our elected leaders would get their act together, because I always talk about how much they love entrepreneurs and small business and all that, but the talk only carries so far, because what matters is actions, and the actions that need to change is giving people who are in jobs that they don't have access to retirement plans the ability to, to contribute decent large amounts to retirement like other earthlings and i don't know where it comes from over the years that congress has always treated people who save in a Roth so differently than people who save in a 401k and when I say Roth, that's short for Roth IRA because you could have a Roth 401k as well. So I am talking about the IRA. And while we're on this subject, if you're not participating in a retirement plan at work that's offered to you, or you're not doing your own Roth IRA, you're missing a real opportunity for financial security down the road. 